Hey, this is Rachel from Kaggle, and today I'm going to talk about forking kernels. So kernels um, are, are in browser coding environment, but you can also use them to share work. Uh, and we've got a lot of public kernels, and let's find one to fork. Um, so I'm interested in this uh, Data Science for Good Center for Policing Equity uh, competition, and I look at this notebook that somebody else has written, um, and it says extensive EDA. And I look through it and I'm like, oh, this is some cool stuff. Um, I want to extend it further and I want to start with where this person has started. So I can do that by forking this notebook. So what forking does is it creates a copy of everything that you see here uh, that you can use and play with. Um, so if I click fork, it's going to launch the editor and I'm going to see in the editor uh, everything that was in the version of the kernel that I forked. Uh, and you can see I can run all this code, I can edit it, so uh, let's say I want to um, uh, I don't know, have a new variable, data is good, and I'm going to uh, assign it the string, yes it is, uh, and I can run this cell. So this is my copy of the notebook that I can do whatever I want with, uh, and it doesn't affect the original author's notebook. So if you look over here in versions, you can see one uncommitted draft, and if I commit this, uh, I will get a new version that is um, including my work, but again, it does not affect the notebook that I forked from originally. So forking is a concept from source control or version control, um, and if you haven't run across it recent, uh, before, it can be a little bit, a little bit confusing. But when I open the version of my notebook, I can see that it is a fork of a different notebook, uh, and that I have. Uh, you know, you can see the things that I've added if I go to the version tabs, and you can see from the original fork I've added uh, two lines, um, and it is that sort of like very silly thing that I did here, and this is my difference. Uh, yeah, so this is a way for you to use other people's work, build off of it. Um, this is private, so no one will see uh, this fork, and you can see because it's private here, they will be able to see the number of forks. So if somebody forked this once I made it public, I see forks one here. Um, currently there are no forks of this notebook, uh, but until I make it public no one will be able to uh, see this work on the original um, and it won't change the notebook itself, it'll just show up under the, the forks tab up here. All right, uh, that's uh, pretty much what I have to say about forking and I hope you guys can uh, really build off of other people's work and find out some cool stuff. Have fun!